I have this pine board that came from Hobby Lobby. It measures nine and a half by four feet. And I'm going to start by marking eight inches from the top of my board and eight inches up from the bottom of my board and drawing a straight line. On that marked line, I'm going to place a piece of painter's tape leaving a 32 inch space between the two pieces of painter's tape. Next, I'm gonna take my general finishes gel stain. The color I'm going to be working with is antique walnut, and I'm going to apply it with a gen foam brush. You can also use a piece of paper towel, and I'm just covering that center section that measures the 32 inches with the gel stain. Once that area is covered, I then just rub it in with a piece of paper towel, and this is how you'll see the wood grain through the gel stain once you rub in that excess gel stain. And then you can remove your painter's tape. I'm going to allow that to fully dry, and then I'm going to place the blue painter's tape so that I can paint the top 8 inch section that we had marked off and I'm going to be using some Wise Owl black paint and I'm going to do that on both sides of my board. Again these two sections were 8 inches and I'm painting them with the Wise Owl black paint. I'm going to give a nice good coat because I do not want that painter's tape sitting there too long and I'm going to lift it up once everything is covered. Next, I have this contact paper. It comes from the Dollar Tree. It's like a clear adhesive. And I'm just going to start by cutting out a bunch of irregular shapes, almost like little blobs. They're going to be all different sizes. And none of them are really going to be exactly the same. And I'm going to need a bunch for both sides of my board. Once I had everything cut out, I'm then going to peel the white backing from the contact paper and I'm going to stick that down on the black section of the board and I'm just randomly placing them. And you want to make sure they're adhering to your paint. You can also do a top coat before placing these down for better adhesion. I'm going to place my blue painter's tape back on my board just so I don't get any white paint on the stained area. And I'm going to take a mini foam roller and some Wise Owl Snow Owl and I'm going to roll on top of the contact paper. I'm quickly taking my blow dryer just so I could do another quick coat of the Wise Owl Snow Owl for better coverage. Now while the paint is still wet, I'm then going to lift up all those little pieces we had laid down. And I'm just using a razor blade to lift up the corner and peel them off. And I'm just creating some cow spots using the contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And I'm doing that on both sides of the board. If you feel this is too much work, you can certainly hand paint them. Or we do have a cow print transfer as well. And I'm going to remove the blue painter's tape from both ends. I then have this welcome stencil. We get this from Hobby Lobby. It's a two-piece stencil that measures 36 by about 6 inches. And I'm going to lay it down in the stained area of my board. And I'm going to hold it in place with the blue painter's tape. I'm going to place the blue painter's tape in areas where it may be a little smaller. I do not want to roll any of the white paint onto the stained board. I'm going to go back to my mini foam roller and I'm going to apply some Wise Owl Snow Owl to the foam roller and roll on top of the stencil. You can also use a foam dabber for bigger stencils like this. The mini foam rollers work really well. The key is just not to put too much paint on the foam roller so that it will bleed underneath the letters and you do not want to push too hard. Now I roll my paint in all different directions. I'll go up and down then I'll also hit it side to side. I'm going to quickly hit this with a blow dryer just so I can do a second coat of the Wise Owl Snow Owl. The paint does need to be a little dry to allow the second coat to adhere a little better. Once I have my stencil fully on there, I'm going to then just remove it. 
Now I take a very small art brush and dab up and down in the areas I want to connect all my letters. And there we go. Now we have this really cute cow print welcome sign. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.